This instructional video will demonstrate how to use visual controls by creating a non-network design for a classroom with wireless control devices. The topics we will be covering include creating a room, adding luminaires, adding devices, and generating documentation. Let's import a DWG to begin the design. Under the file menu, select import, then the drawing option. Select the reference file and click open. You can check that the scale is correct by using the distance command to measure a known dimension in the project. From the design tab, select the rectangle room command. You can name the room and set the ceiling height in the properties. Left click to locate the first corner of the room. Then left click to select the opposite corner. Next we will add luminaires with embedded and light air sensors to the design. From the products manager, select a 2x4 luminaire. Change the orientation to 90 degrees. Left click to place the first luminaire using the location on the reference file. Right click to end the placement. To quickly add the remaining luminaires, we can use the array command. On the Modify tab, select the Quantity option in the Array Command group. Left click to select the luminaire. In the Properties, change both the columns and rows to 3. Right click to confirm the selection, then left click to set a base point on the luminaire. Move the mouse to the bottom right and left click when the previewed array pattern matches the reference file. Next, we need to activate the wireless capabilities of the luminaires in the design by making changes in the schedule. From the Project tab, select the schedule. Select and highlight the luminaire type on the schedule. Open the connection rules from the ribbon. Select the End Light Air option and click Apply. Return to the design by using the tab above the design window. Notice the wireless symbols have been added to the luminaires. To begin adding controls to the design, use the search bar on the product manager. Search for the RPOD BA 2P DX. The search will check for products loaded into the current project. The Acuity Brands database of controls, as well as the list of favorites you have saved. Select the product from the results. Left click to place the switch near the first door for easy access to the device. You can continue placing switches while in the command. Move and left click to place the second switch. Right click to complete the placement. Together, the wireless switches and end light air enabled luminaires generate a layout complete with occupancy and daylight sensing capabilities while needing less devices. Visual controls can automatically generate riser diagrams for your design. Click on the Generate button next to the Risers section of the Project Manager to create the riser page. Visual controls will generate design pages automatically for the designs in your project. Additional product information is available from the Details menu on the ribbon. The topics in this video and more will be covered in detail in additional videos. This concludes this instructional video. Please send any questions or comments to the Visual Support Center at support at visual-3d.com.